Pedro, Sam, good afternoon to you both. That's right, Samuel Haskell was in a criminal courtroom today. His arraignment, though, was postponed until December 8th. In the meantime, we're getting some insight into what might be happening behind the scenes. We know that a woman's torso was found inside this Encino dumpster behind us. Police believe it belongs to Haskell's wife. Her parents are also missing, and the search is on for anything that leads detectives to them. Mr. Haskell is present before the court. Samuel Haskell made his first appearance in court Monday after he was arrested on suspicion of murder. Haskell wearing prison blue with only his body visible to the camera under instruction of the judge. It follows a gruesome discovery last week. Police found a woman's torso discarded in this Encino dumpster. They believe it belongs to 37-year-old May Haskell. That led detectives back to her Tarzana home where she lived with her husband, Sam Haskell, her parents, and her three children. Police say inside they found blood consistent with a killing and dismemberment. Her parents are also missing. Her three children are said to be safe and staying with family. I still can't even wrap my head around it. I have to remind myself a few times a day that, that this happened and that it's a reality. El Benami lives next door. Her kids were close with the Haskell boys who moved into the neighborhood in January of 2021. She spent a lot of time with May, who she describes as an ideal neighbor and friend. You know, maybe there was something brewing under the surface that we didn't know about. Um, it's sad, it's scary. Um, it kind of makes you feel a little bit helpless, I guess. Detectives scoured the neighborhood for surveillance and are interviewing family, friends, neighbors, and co-workers. As for additional body parts or more evidence in the crime, police wouldn't tell KTLA if they are searching local landfills or other areas. Retired FBI agent Robert Chacon gives us some insight into what may have been happening behind closed doors. It seems to be one of these ones we've seen before that somehow something goes wrong in the relationship. And uh, one person, mostly the husband, um, somehow snaps. Chacon says detectives are going through this house with a fine tooth comb, looking at blood and other forensics. They're also looking through the family's digital footprint and social media platforms. LAPD released photos of these two white SUVs, which police believe are connected to the family and their last known sightings. The challenge is how do you find out what he did if he's not talking? Um, and so you have to you have to find out through all of these other investigative avenues. And you're basically piecing a timeline together and you're piecing circumstantial evidence together to build a picture. And this FBI agent says police are collecting evidence and information from a lot of different sources and putting it together to get a larger picture here. So even a small piece of information that might seem irrelevant could fill in a gap or corroborate something that police already know. We're live in Encino. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Sam Pedro, back to you in the studio. Yeah, exactly. Every piece of information can help. Thank you so much, Rachel.